In today's topic, we will deal with flavor saver tomato. Flavor saver tomato is a transgenic variety of tomato projected to contain enhanced flavor and color with improved shelf life. Antisense RNA technology is used to get flavor saver tomato. Antisense RNA is obtained by transcribing template strand of DNA, that is, non coding strand. Essentially, this will be complementary to the normal mRNA. Usage of this technology in flavor saver tomato is outlined like this. So, technology and its background. So, to understand this technology and its background, to use in this product, we must we must be aware of the following three components. The first one is climacteric fruit physiology. Climacteric is the final physiological process that marks the end of fruit maturation and the beginning of the fruit senescence. Sudden rise in respiration and levels of ethylene are the characteristic features of this particular process. And this particular process will be having sensory attributes like peak of edible ripeness and best taste and texture for consumption. Next, we will be studying about biochemical changes during tomato ripening. Biochemical changes during tomato ripening will have sudden rise in the respiration of fruit without external influence, sudden rise in ethylene, the growth hormone, change in pigment composition, that is decrease in the level of chlorophylls and increase in the level of lycopene, Change in carbohydrate composition, that is accelerated conversion of starch into sugar and increase in the level of oligalacturonase. So, all these things will lead to the biochemical changes in the tomato ripening. The after effects of the ripening will be respiration rates dip below the pre climacteric rates, fruits are prone to fungal invasions, and this leads to the senescence. Let us understand ripening related genes and ripening process related studies showed three important groups of clones induced by ethylene. The first clone is p 5 gives phytoin synthase as a gene product which synthesizes lycopene, the substance responsible for red coloration. The second clone p 6 gives polygalactoronase as a gene product that degrades the cell wall resulting in softening of the fruit. The third clone p 13 produces ACC oxidase as a gene product that is involved in ethylene formation. It is a main ripening triggering hormone. Genetic manipulation involved manipulating these genes to get desired traits. Antisense RNA technology is used to get flavor saver tomato. So, in normal condition, we can see that the p 6 that is polygalactoronase gene, has been inserted or it is code, it will get coded and transcribed and ultimately produces polygalactoronase enzyme. But here what happens, when we use the antisense technology, here we have to understand what is antisense technology. Antisense RNA technology is applied to the polygalactoronase gene to achieve this. So to make that, the, there is a construct. Sense strand will sense and antisense strand will get transcribed and sense strand as usual it keeps on sensing so complementary basis will be obtained so here the clone of ptom which gives polygalactoronase as a gene product and responsible for the degradation of the cell wall has been blocked by preparing and inserting antisense rna into the agrobacterium based system the gene of polygalactoronase enzyme is isolated from the tomato. This is the first desired gene. Next, antisense RNA coding gene is prepared with the help of a TI plasmid by turning the gene in the opposite direction. This is the second desired gene. 
the TI promoter is employed in insert the complementary DNA with the new construct into the genome of the cell. This is how it will be done. And the process, the during ripening process of the flavor saver tomato, both the coded and sense trans and sense trans are translated into messenger RNA. So here you can observe that both antisense trans and sense trans will code and they produce mRNAs. But since these two mRNAs are complementary to each other, there won't be further process of this. So, as a result, what happened? This results into two complementary mRNAs. Due to this complementary nature, they fit together to form a double stranded mRNA. And this will lead to the blocking of production of polygalactoronase. As a result, the output will be flavor saver tomato, which is with intact cell walls and appealing looks. So, significance of this particular technique is though this product never introduced into the market and it is an economically non viable venture, the technology established by this work has significant biotechnological applications in various fields. So, this is with respect to the flavor saver tomato.